so nice to meet you. Too. It's so nice out. It's gorgeous. I know. Should we did bake you out walk here? here? <laughs> <laughs> I did. I walked here. We're like neighbors. very much neighbors. Yeah. Great. Well, come on in. Wait. Let's make a cake. I'm ready. Let's okay. go. Oh, Do you know how long I've wanted to walk into this corner? <laughs> now you're here. <laughs> I'm obviously obsessed. This is incredible. <laughs> Come awesome. sit down. Well, before we do that, I oh. have a little something for you. Oh my god, thank you for so me much. and Food 52. Oh, okay. Hopefully, you'll love it. <gasps> oh my god, my oh. first Jadeite. We need to give you this. Jadeite. Especially with what we're making today. It's this like, is perfect. Great. Thank you so much. I think much. it'll look good in here. I appreciate it. I know you're a ceramic queen, but a little Jadeite in the mix. I like feels to have good. a mix, you yeah, know? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Perfect. Oh, amazing, thanks. Let's get started. Tell me what we're making today. Okay, so we're making tomato soup cake, oh, which is a geez. dessert that my grandma Ruthie, my mom's mom, used to make in like the 50s and 60s. Of course, very and 50s. you know, it's like the classic 50s housewife recipe that like sounds sort of gimmicky but is actually delicious. This is what I thrive on. I think Campbell's may have had something to do with it. <laughs> Surprise! <laughs> there are all these like old ads yeah. um, that are like, you know. Housewives, like put Campbell's in your cake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it has a lot of like baking spices in it. It has like a crazy amount of allspice, some okay. cloves, some cinnamon. So like when it's baking, it very much smells like, for me, it like it smells like Christmas. Are we frosting it? We are frosting it. So when Ruthie would make it, I like called my mom and like, you know, Got the interrogated whole story. her. And she was saying Ruthie would generally just do it in like an eight by eight or nine by nine yeah. pan and then dust it with a little confectioner's sugar. Uh -huh. But what we're gonna do is kind of a more traditional like layer cake frosting on the top. Yeah. Do you have a picture of Ruthie? I have a painting that my mom made. Can of I go Ruthie? get it? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay. <laughs> oh, excuse me. So this is Ruthie. <laughs> Ruthie. Honestly, a queen deserves a portrait. She really does. She was amazing. She oh. was like, Widowed mother of seven, always putting dinner on the table, meat and potatoes lady, and oh. she made she loved her tomato soup cake. So yeah, well we, we are love Ruthie. we're honoring her, and I yeah. think tomato soup soup cake is uh, about to make a comeback. I I think we can single hit double handedly too. Double. <laughs> we actually have four hands. I'm gonna go ahead and tell people if they're having fun watching this, they can like this video and they can subscribe to the Food 52 channel on YouTube so that they can get so much more of the secret sauce with Grossi Pelosi. All right, so should we go into the kitchen? We can go into the kitchen, <laughs> but something you need to know about my kitchen is that there's zero square inches of counter space in oh. it. So I kind of do my prep outside the kitchen, but we can look into the kitchen. So this is the kitchen. It's a yeah. little small. It's wow. a little more storage focused than okay. chopping and measuring focused. Yeah. And also I usually have an old lunch tray on uh -huh. my stove, so can... which is kind of my staging area. Amazing. Yeah, You're making so... the absolute most of it. Not I really... literally have no other choice. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so why don't you just hold the ball? <laughs> Happily. <laughs> I mean, that's why I like having people over so they yeah, can essentially like be a counter for me. Anything I could do to feel useful. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna mix the dry together okay. before, and that, so that we can clear some of this stuff off. Right. So we have all-purpose flour, just the regular stuff, baking powder, the baking soda. Okay. I think it's like four teaspoons of baking powder and one teaspoon of baking soda. That's great, very And reactive. then we have Ooh, um, allspice, cinnamon, and a little bit of cloves. Can I smell okay? Yeah. Yep, that's good. And it's be. gonna feel like a lot of spices, but just go for it. Then we can put that down here. Okay. And we'll give it a little whisk. Get everything nicely mixed together. Mm -hmm. And then we can sort of put this aside. I'll put these here. Yep, and do you wanna just cool. disappear these into the sink? I will disappear them. Great. That makes me feel like a magician. Well, you know. Like I didn't just put them in this sink, they fully disappeared like that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. So we'll bring the sand mixer up. This is our shortening, okay. and it's just at room temperature. Okay, that's good to know. Important. Here, can I? May I? Sure. Or do you want to do it? You um, do it. Yeah, why not? Yeah. You match the you match the stand mixer. You know, I did maybe know that we were doing tomato soup, and maybe I wore red. I don't know. So we've got the shortening mm -hmm. in the bowl, and then oh, sugar. Sugar. One so, and a third cups. One and a third cups. Great. Uh, we've got our little sugar haze. I know. I love Gorgeous. It. And then we'll close her. Lock her up, and then, I don't know, what, two, four? We're creaming it, we just want it to be nice and fluffy. It doesn't have to take five minutes. Yeah. Again, this is not like 
a fine cake. dining pastry. This is not chiffon cake. <laughs> we just want it to nicely mix together. Great, okay. If you wanted to do it in one bowl, melt the shortening first. Okay. And, and then, then just mix everything mix together. Everything. Mix the dry together so everything is well combined. Okay. And you can just add the rest of the stuff just in there. And if you want, if you are a person who loves nuts in your cake, you can put half a couple of nuts in here. Yeah. Ruthie's original recipe, her like little handwritten recipe in her recipe book says, I think it calls them nut sweet meats. <laughs> sweet meats? Yeah. Oh. Um, Calling nuts sweet meats <laughs> is about to enter gay culture. <laughs> I think it should. I have to tell you, my boyfriend loves sweet meats and he loves almonds, but that's the only nut he can eat. Still yeah. crunchy, still like some yeah. texture. Chop it what up. What do you think? I think it looks good. Yeah. Okay. And then we can just mix everything else into this bowl, I think. Okay. <laughs> smells like tomato soup. This is extremely thick. Right? So I'm gonna get a quarter cup of water. I'm gonna yeah, eyeball it. I think it. the quarter cup is actually Oh, is right it there? there? Yeah. Gorgeous, okay. And then I am going to add our eggs. Okay. It really is thick. Oh, yeah. I just got a nice chunk. Oh, good job. Thanks. <laughs> okay. Great. Gorgeous. Now we just mix, I think. What about the raisins? The raisins go in after we mix. Okay. Can we talk about raisins for a second while you I would love that? to talk about raisins. How do you feel about raisins? Well, so I absolutely love raisins. Are you anti-raisin? Raisin? Oh, okay, I thought no, you were gonna be like, I I'm hate not. raisins and I'm leaving. No, I actually, like, my meat family meatball recipe has raisins. Ooh. I put raisins in everything I possibly can, and let me tell you, all the people who make my recipes are so divided. It is one of the most just divisive ingredients. It really is. And what's great about raisins is you just leave them out if you don't like them. If you so don't let's like just raisins. say that here, if you don't want to put raisins in this cake, you can leave them out. But we love them and we hope that you put them in, right? Yeah. That's coming together yeah. nicely. Yeah, so if there's a couple of little streaks of flour in your bowl, that's fine because you're gonna mix it a couple more times once you fold the raisins in. So you want to make sure there aren't, aren't any like big secret pockets of flour at the bottom. You know, Gorgeous. when you find one lurking, when you pour it into the pan, it's devastating. What if there was a secret pocket and then you like pulled $10 out of it? You'd that so I would love, but it's never amazing. happened to me before. It never happened, it's weird. <laughs> You're gonna have to ask Marianne about her. She's gonna use your magic show. Oh yeah, I was raised by magicians. You were raised by magicians? Is well, that why I, you asked me to disappear those bowls earlier? That's why I asked you to disappear those bowls. So you were raised by magicians? Well, no, I, I my family was in a magic show my whole life until I was in high school. And were you in it? Yeah, I was in a magic show every Sunday of my life until I went away to boarding school. Where did the magic show happen? In Beverly, Massachusetts. But my like, what were, venue? Like church basement? Like McDonald's part... playroom? Like where was it? Neither. So the my... Starbucks? Like... <laughs> so my parents were part of a group of people who in the late 70s bought an old vaudeville theater in downtown Beverly, Massachusetts. So you were in the magic show. Mm -hmm. Raisin. Yeah, the raisins Disappear slowly. the raisins. Disappear. <laughs> that was magic. So it was like a live stage magic show with lots of like big illusions, like people disappearing out of, in and out of boxes. Was that you? Um, I did. That was me. I was in a levitating toy car at one point. What? Yeah. Um, I was a tap dancing scarecrow. What? And I'm actually trying to write a book about it right now, so it's like kind of top of mind. Write so that give book. me like 10 years and then I'll have a book for Gorgeous. it. Gorgeous. Yeah. That's, that's, is that how long it takes to write a book? I think this one's Oof. gonna take a while for various okay. reasons. Are you ready to grease the pans? Let's do it. Okay, one, two, three. Whoa! <laughs> you really are magic. I pan pretty generously because there's that's nothing sure. more disappointing than a cake mm -hmm. sticking to a cake pan. I also am an evangelist for heavy pan. It's like, I think, you know, baking should make you feel good about yourself and nothing makes me feel worse about myself than being like, I had made the cake stick to the <laughs> pan. But can't you use magic to fix that or no? I'll tell you, I'll tell you off camera. I'll tell you, that's a secret. You want obviously half of the dough in each, mm -hmm. but like, again, we're just gonna eyeball it. I'm gonna hold and you're gonna okay, slash. Great. Look how pretty that is. It's pink, right? It's truly a gorgeous It's almost color. like a salmon. It is like a salmon. I was reviewing the recipe this morning and somebody said, have you ever put chocolate chips in this? And I was like, no, but that would yes. sounds kind of good. Yeah. So maybe if you hate raisins, chocolate chips you could good. experiment with some chocolate chips. One, Final ta-da. Here. Right? Yeah, I'm gonna go in the kitchen off camera and disappear. Go for it. <laughs> <laughs> Bye. <laughs> 
while he does that, he's well, gonna come do- on, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Fine. People do love watching me eat, I get that a lot. You gotta give the people what they want. Gotta give them what they want, this is for all you. Touches the edges. Gorgeous. Mm. And then you lift the spoon. <laughs> so how long do these bake for? 35 to 40 minutes. At 350. At 350, Okay, yeah. cool. We can yes. start our frosting. Awesome. It's just a basic cream cheese frosting that mm -hmm. I stole from another recipe on Food 52. I mean, okay. it looks great. Gorgeous. It's, I, I'm, I'm resisting the urge to put my finger in it. Well, you'd have to ask it first. <laughs> <laughs> so we're frosting. We're frosting, yes. Okay, first of all, can we talk about this? Yes. So, did you make it? I made the cake plate. The top is just like this beautiful glaze. Yeah, it's like a green. It's gonna be so pretty with this. Thanks. And then, oh my gosh, okay, cool. Great. Well, that is and gorgeous, and it also goes well with your new jade eye. I know, I do I just feel so happy about the color story we've created. Well, you know what we have? What? We have the Italian flag. We do have and... the Italian flag. <laughs> hey. What do you do first when you frost? I just put it on there. Okay, so you wanna know what I do? What do you do? I take, a do, little, oh yeah, yeah. Tiny bit you are supposed to do that. And just put it there, uh -huh. so that so when you sticks. place your cake, it sticks and it doesn't move around. And you don't worry, like when you grab it, it won't make a big difference. But it's really just kind of stabilizes things. Yeah, that's you genius. Can I admit something to you? What? I've never made a layer cake before. Really? This is my first one. Because oh when gosh. I make this, I make it. In you eight make by a single. Eight. I make an eight two eight bits. Two eight bits, yeah. and then. You just like, how do you? I'll frost it. Yeah. Or I'll dust it and confection. But do you serve sugar. them like separate next to each other? Yeah, it's like a snacking cake. Oh, so this is like, this is my favorite thing. So I'm Perhaps. a heavy and casual froster. Love that. So that's a lot. So here, go for it. Yep. And then let's see if we need more. Well, yeah, and I also like that, like, if it kind of like gloops out of it the side. To. People need to know there's a big layer of frosting in there. Yeah. And then we're not frosting the sides, we're just doing. No. Frosting, frosting, right? Yep. I love that. That's how I do my carrot cake. Then I think we can plop the I'm other one on, that. right? And then I'm gonna give it a little like, yeah. so that you mm -hmm. sort of see it, because we don't want any surprises. It almost reminds you of a trifle, which I love. I Absolutely. love a trifle. And then we're just gonna do a heavy, just go for heavy it. frost on top. And sometimes, if I have extra frosting, I'm not opposed to serving cake with a little extra Side. bowl of frosting for people who really want to go ham on frosting. They can kind of use it as a condiment. It's like marinara on the side of pizza. It's, it's, right? it's literally that. My favorite thing about a carrot cake, or specifically the one that I make, is mm -hmm. it stays moist for days and gets better in the fridge. Have you ever put this in the fridge? I'm sure I have, but I can't remember. But I think I think this I think would go great. I think this really, would be great. Like in the having fridge. it be a little chilly and a little, the moisture. Mm -hmm. So I have a feeling this could last for a while. Yeah. In the fridge, I cannot wait to taste this. We finally get to eat the cake, so and pretty. I'm so impressed that your magic cake has sliced itself. Well, I have a magician's assistant <laughs> in the other room named Joy who did it for us. Joy, the magician's <laughs> assistant, amazing. Tea. Oh, tea. Oh my gosh. So. The mug. The mug is a new mug. You're is... you're seeing these. You're seeing the new line wow. for the first you're time. You're getting the preview. Seeing it first, folks. <laughs> I love that one. I've been doing a lot of it's like gorgeous. painting of flowers. This is also like thank you for this handle because yes. it's so perfect, big enough. Close enough. I love it. I do get a lot of feedback from larger handed people that they like the handles. I have large hands. Yeah. I have. Which, and you should be able to hold a mug comfortably. I would love to. Right. Then this is making it happen. Well, I'm here, so let's glad. Do yeah, a let's cheers. 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 Thanks for coming over. Thank you for having me. Oh, and now we get to eat cake. Mm. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, it's all so sweet. It's Okay, one, two, three. Mmm. The mixture of spices so and nice, the like right? combo and the depth of flavor. Obviously, I love the raisins are like a little hit of sweetness. Yeah. And then it's the the frosting is just a perfect complement. But I, so you good. know, I do see how your mom said that also you could just do powdered sugar on top. Mm -hmm. It would really make this even more of like sort of like a spice cake versus something really sort of sweet. Which right. It's like a snacking cake. Yeah. I would mm. eat this for breakfast. Yum. A hundred percent. It's so good. That was just like the best day. I'm so happy we got to honor Grandma Rufi with her tomato soup cake. Thank, Thank you so you much for, for coming, but also I need to send you home with cake. I mean, I would never leave without it. Thank you so I'm much. I'm so glad. Um, I'm gonna devour this. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm gonna devour the rest. And I know so where you live, so thing. I might come back for even more. Thank you for sharing your secret sauce with me. Anytime. I really appreciate it. Bye. <laughs>
if I can open this. All right. Bye. Bye. Can't wait to come back. <laughs> <laughs>